Hi guys, only Sean here. Um, thought I would run through a little bit. What it is, I've been um, looking at the different website builders and whatnot. I obviously looked at Wix and Forspace and all the rest of them. And the one I've come across that seems to be the best for um, businesses. There's a couple of things I want to go through here. Um, one, when you're making up your website, then what people tend to do is tend to do a homepage, blah, blah, blah that just leads on to the rest of it. And what happens is you're actually wasting your site a little bit. Um, what I mean by that is you want Google to see your site just for the particular search term that you put in there. So say, for example, if I'm doing a food site. All right. Mm. And what we could do, sorry, I'm on having a sip at the same time. What we could do is we can then look through the different food ones, but then go in, rebuild these anywhere we want to. Um, and obviously keyword up and everything else. Now, with this particular company here, who I'm not using, which is Builder All, um, what they do is they give you all these websites um, just basically for you to mess about with. So it's really easy to do. Just press and edit. Actually, I've got one open, so I'm going to open here. Oh, there we are. That's coming over later a bit. Right, you press and edit. And basically you can drag and drop anything you want um, you then go into searches and you then do the SEO on your website now if I'm doing a search on Google for we're going to say fish and chips and then I come on your website the first thing it shows me is lobster that's not what Google wants Google wants for you to be shown fish and chips now here's a little one I've been working on this morning let's get rid of that my logo thing um, now what this is going to be, obviously, like I say, if you're searching for fish and chips and you're going for lobster, it's no good. Google's then going to underscore you because people are going to click off. They're going to go straight from that page trying to find the fish and chips page or whatever. Um, say if it's shoes, if it's clothes, if it's affiliate marketing, which is what I like to do. Um, they always want exactly what they click on. They might want red shoes as your site takes them to a pair of brown shoes which Google isn't going to like because it's brown shoes. So here we have a landing page which is for a tattoo studio in Newcastle. Now all I've done is we've basically keyworded this one up for Newcastle. So we've got all the bits and bobs um, which will obviously entice people. But the important part about this is this is the landing page. This is not the actual website. The website's um, on a different server I'm working on that at the minute. So, what you do here, it's Home 17, which is Newcastle Tattoo Shop. Just have a quick look in here. Then go on to your um, SEO, which is your settings in the SEO. Now here you put in description, which is obviously going to use some of your keywords. We've already researched all the keywords, so we know that the keywords are all good. Um, I tend to use long tail keywords, which is going to get you ranked a lot higher. Now the script's where you can put your Facebook pixel, your Google Analytics, your whole lot. What we could also do, if we wanted to, is we could start building a mailing list from this page. Obviously, the money's in your list. Um, be you a dentist and you're wanting to find out all your customers' email lists, what you could do, you could even give a little free giveaway. Um, if you're a restaurant, which is the original bit I was on, if you're a restaurant, then what you could say is you could say that um, try our homemade recipe for fish and chips. Obviously, people's then going to exchange their email for the homemade recipe. Uh, these teeth, and you're going to get a lot more followers. So, you also have your mail and boss autoresponder. Now, then, if you're making, if you're getting emails, and what you want to be doing is, you want to be building your email list. Always be building your email list. Your landing page is a perfect thing to do with this. So you can go on to, well in here you've got a load of tutorials, a ridiculous amount of tutorials actually, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, but excellent mailing list. You basically just set it up, automate it all, set it up, forget it. Exactly the same with your website. Now I've got quite a few on here. Um, basically build it all. You can build as many websites as what you want to do. Um, I think it's up to about 15 and if you're going over 15 websites per server then you're going a bit mental um, you've also got as many landing pages as you want 
So back to your restaurant. Perhaps you want to gain some people in an area just outside of yours. So say for example you're in Durham and you want some people to come and travel. You then put in your keywords Newcastle restaurant, Sunderland restaurant, things like this. But with your keywords you're going to have them landing on your landing page. So that Google knows it's all true. Um, these, well, what I would actually be doing with this, just to get your, um, your search terms up there, go to text, I would then highlight parts that I want for a search engine to find. So we want to find best tattoo studios in Castle. So we're then going to bold that, which is going to help a lot because obviously as Google's on through it, it sees this bold and thinks right must be important. Tattoo Studio in Newcastle, that's already H1 tag, so that's no problem at all. If you need any help with any of this, guys, just give us a shout. Um, Tattoo Studio is in Newcastle Pontine area. Boom, boom, boom. See how many times we've got Newcastle added in here. That's basically as many times as what well. I'm squeezing it, but with it still reading naturally. So you don't want it. You don't want the castle just for the sake of it. But you do want also a talic it. Um, you don't want it. Say you've just got a load of keywords just crammed in there for no apparent reason whatsoever. You want it so that your keywords read natural. And when you look at your descriptions and whatnot, there will be um, everything going into here as well. Um, so we'll be getting pixels and Google Analytics and all the rest of it, just so remember, knowledge is power. So we're going to repeat exactly what we've said on here in the description. Your keywords are going to repeat again. Your website's going to be built beautifully. If you ever need a hand building a website, give us a shout. Um, to be honest, it's no skin off my nose. I can put them together for you um, in the next no time. If you need your website keyword up, just give us a shout and hopefully speak to you soon. Cheers, have a good day. Goodbye.